So here we go with officially season two of the walking journey, believe it or not. And this time we have a companion with us. Little, my no. plan apparently is to do some walking around the apartment complex that we moved to. And obviously, you know, since I have my daughter with me, can't go too far, but you know, where, where did we leave off last time in the series? I think that we were like walking to South Africa or something, the total distance. We, I think we're like 2% of the way there so far. That was a lot of walking, like over 400 kilometers. And uh, I haven't uh, basically stopped ever since wife came to America and now rest is history, have a baby and all that stuff. And yeah, <clears throat> happy wife, happy life, you know? So uh, what else is he gonna talk about? Oh, I have, uh, everyone already knows this probably, but I have so many projects that I'm working on regarding literature. Um, all these poetry books that are going to come out, um, including Harmony and Leafy sequel, which is Dominion God of This World, a lot of other kind of stuff, and also outlining the novel series, The Banner of the Broken Cross, which is, oh, well, it's, it's going to be a novel, but the main thing is it's going to be the longest poem ever written. It's like sort of like a poem that's also like tells a story. I'm mostly gonna write a novel with the story elements basically. So it's it's honestly pretty epic so far. So can't wait for people to actually read this stuff. I've completely outlined Storm of the Worlds, which is part one, Dreadful King of Hell, which is part two. Part three, which I'm working on soon, is The Eternal City. Shortly after that, will be The Flight of the Beloved. And if I'm not mistaken, I think part five According to my notes is the secrets of the bard prophet, but you know, it's like an epic kind of fantasy series. And you know, I thought about these walks that I'm, that I'm doing, I feel like, you know, we're, uh, obviously hasn't been, a, it's been a long time since I've been doing this, but recording the distance that you walk each day is a really motivating factor, I would say. So it's, it's a good idea to do that. You do more when you have motivation, so. So as far as the poem, the Banner of the Broken Cross is concerned, the poem version, that's, the aim is to be 22 million words, um, which obviously is a monumental feat. So if I'm successful, it will be literally the longest work of literature ever written in any language and uh the the longest poem ever written longest single poem um, at the same exact time so it's like this epic tale of tr people traveling between worlds and big religious kind of themes about good versus evil and cosmic kind of battles big reveals deception stakes really high that kind of stuff is what's going to happen so it's going to be a great story to tell but as, as i'm sure everyone knows because it's like the middle of july it's like really hot and why am i even wearing glasses but anyway uh, yeah i work at a call center so i get all these customers calling and telling me about how hot it is basically and that, that's basically the top of the topic of the conversation uh, and the thing, the thing about working at a call center is uh, if you're working at a call center, you can use all the jokes that stopped working on your wife uh, five years ago, and they still work on people because it's, it's a different person every single time, you know. So someone just stopped me and asked me for directions. So that's the status of this trip. I, yeah, I think people really like forward movement. That's a good thing about this kind of podcast. Like you can move forward and talk at the same time and update life, sort of like a video kind of diary thing and see the nature that's going on and get exercise all at the same time. And this walk is gonna be no longer than half an hour today. So 
that's where I am right now. In other words, might as well start heading back to my apartment, you know, so. I just walked a kilometer, only about 7,000 to go, you know. I like to set unreasonable goals for myself so that when they're accomplished, it's like something, you know, big, so.